Welcome back to What's Now, continuing our focus on your health. Eczema and atopic dermatitis affect many children. What do you need to know about the skin disease and what are some of the hidden costs? Well, let's find out. Parents and their kids are managing a lot of ups and downs these days during the pandemic. Imagine adding to that a mix of chronic skin conditions that can come with intense itching, sleepless nights, and painful skin lesions. That's the reality for Ashley Ellis, mother to a nine-year-old daughter with severe atopic dermatitis, also known as AD. AD is the most common form of eczema, a skin disease that causes rashes, dry patches, and redness or darkening of the skin. Here to talk about navigating the disease and to help raise awareness are dermatologists Dr. Mercedes E. Gonzalez and Ashley. Thank you both for talking with us today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having us. Dr. Gonzalez, what are the most common symptoms of AD and how does this impact children? Atopic dermatitis is the most common form of eczema. It's a chronic inflammatory disease that is characterized by itchy skin rashes that come and go. In moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, the skin and the immune system are highly sensitive and it can react in response to many different triggers. It reacts with these itchy, dry, red, sometimes dark rashes on the skin that can be very itchy. Itching is by far the most burdensome symptom that can really be debilitating. It is not uncommon. In the United States, it's estimated that 2 million people aged 6 years of age and older are affected by uncontrolled moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. And Ashley, tell us about your daughter's diagnosis and what it's like for her to live with AD. Yeah, so Hadley is 9. She's in 4th grade now. She was diagnosed when she was 4 months old. So it started with some of those red itchy patches in the folds of her skin and her face, her ankles, and it migrated into like her elbows, the backs of her knees, but it got so bad that she was scratching and opening up skin during the night. She had some hair loss, blood in her sheets, um, just a lot of pain, infections, um, just on and on. We had to go to a ton of different doctors to try to find the treatments that she needed. and. Um, it definitely affected our entire family. Now itch is her primary symptom, so sitting still in school is very hard. Holding a pencil is hard when she's having an outbreak on her hands, and it's affected her mental health and anxiety and our entire family. You know, it affects a lot that people mm -hmm. that don't have to deal with it aren't even aware of. What are some right, common right. perceptions or challenges that you've had to deal with while raising a child with atopic dermatitis? Yeah, when she was a baby, um, people would say she'll outgrow it or all babies have eczema. It's not true. She has not outgrown it. Um, and, uh, you know, that's not the case for all babies to have eczema. Another one is that it's contagious. That seems to come up because people can see it on her skin if she has a flare up. Um, and so people will say, should she be swimming? Should she be around my kids like at the playground? Um, and atopic dermatitis is not contagious. Definitively, it's not. So that's something that people need to know. Um, and with Hadley specifically, because she has scalp symptoms, um, people will ask her if she doesn't wash her hair enough or if she has dandruff, and that can be hurtful for her. And so I've tried to empower her to say, now that's part of my eczema, that's part of my condition, but that does hurt my feelings when you bring up my parents. Um, so those are three that have impacted our family and her situation specifically. And Dr. Gonzalez, what does the Understand AD campaign hope to accomplish? Understand AD is an awareness program supported by Sanofi and Regeneron in partnership with the National Eczema Association, who we are here on behalf of today. Understand AD brings together different perspectives of real people navigating moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Through a series of educational videos that feature Ashley, myself, and two others, we address some of the most common questions people might have about atopic dermatitis. We discuss our own experiences. We talk about the unique challenges that you may face um, when you're navigating moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. And we really hope to empower others that are affected by this disease and empower them with knowledge, educational resources, and community to make them feel that they are not alone. If you want to access the videos or access the community, you can go to um, understandad.com as well as the National Eczema Association website, nationaleczema.org. Thank you so much, Dr. Gonzalez, for joining us today and 
informing us about atopic dermatitis and the effects it has. And Ashley, I really appreciate you taking the time and explaining the issues that your daughter has to deal with daily. I know that it'll make a difference. And really, we wish you all the best wishes to you and your daughter. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thanks for watching this episode of What's Now. We are back every morning at 8 a.m. for Mountain Connections. Be sure to tune in live. Find out everything you need to know in this community and beyond. And head to our website, parkcity.tv, for more exclusive programming information. I'm Christine Napier. See you next time.